everyone, this is Zoe from the Sun Island Children's Museum and for today's visual art studio we are going to be making collages in the style of Kenyan artist Wangechi Mutu. Wangechi Mutu is an international visual contemporary artist born in Nairobi, Kenya. She is known for her painting, sculpture, film, and performances. She moved to New York and earned a BFA from Cooper Union and a master's from the Yale School of Arts. Wengechi Mutu's art focuses on themes of gender, race, and colonialism. She often depicts black women as beautiful, powerful, and strong figures in her pieces as a way to empower them, because historically, they were rarely seen in art museums. So what is collage? Collage comes from the French word colère, which means to glue. Collage is the artistic process of gluing and cutting different materials to a flat surface, which creates a new piece altogether. So if you've ever taken stickers or cut out photos from a magazine, that's what a collage is. All right, so before you could begin your collage, you're gonna start with paper. Any type of paper will work. Then you're gonna need crayons. I like crayons because they're water resistant. Watercolor paint and a brush with clean water. Scissors. Glue. I like to use glue stick because it's less messy. And some old magazines or photos that you're allowed to cut images from. So the first step is getting your paper and deciding how you want to lay it out. Do you want it horizontal? Do you want it vertical? And then taking your crayon. I'm using only one crayon for now because I really am focusing on using the watercolor and the collage. But if you want to use multiple crayons, that's fine. And now you're going to design your background. I'm doing some mountains, a little scenery, because I miss the outdoors, I miss being outside. Now that I've laid out my illustration, I'm going to grab my watercolors. Now, if you don't have watercolors, that is totally okay, because there are some things at home that you could use if you don't. If you look back at one of our earlier videos, we did water diffusion paintings using just markers and clean water. You could absolutely do that for this if you can. If not, you could also use food coloring, whatever works for you, but there are totally other options if you don't have watercolors. So now I'm just going to fill in the background, and once the background is totally filled in, then we can move on to our next step. So now that you've finished painting your background, you just want to set it aside so that it could dry. Now turn your attention to your old magazines and pictures. These are what you're going to use to cut out and collage. Now that you have all your pieces cut out, what I like to do is to grab another white piece of paper and start to plan out my design. By laying all my pieces out on the white paper, it helps me see clearly all the shapes that I have and what the possibilities can be with all the images. It's really helpful and it's a great way to just plan ahead. Alright, now that I have my plan, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to start adhering the pieces to my painted background. This is the fun part. This is when you start to see your finished piece come to life. And there you go. I'm all done. I really had fun making this with you guys. I hope you learned a lot about Wangechi Mutu and collages, and I can't wait to see the work that you come up with, too. Thanks so much.